This is Utica, Illinois, located 90 miles southwest of Chicago, and on April 20th, 2004, a tornado ripped through the small town, killing eight people and injuring more than 10. It happened on a Tuesday night at 6 p.m. The townspeople knew a tornado was coming ahead, and they braced for safety by going inside the basements of these strong brick buildings, which was the right thing to do. Several people from a nearby trailer park had congregated in the basement of the Milestone Tap. I'm heading to that location right now. When the night was over, the F3 Twister cut a wide row of devastation and most of the downtown was either damaged or destroyed. Homes and businesses were reduced to piles of brick and splintered wood. The roof of the school was blown clean off. A machinery building was completely destroyed and a semi-tractor trailer was blown into a canal. A large grain bin was also blown across the canal and flattened. The next day, rescuers with shovels and buckets pulled eight bodies from the rubble of a tavern where residents had gathered to seek shelter from a twister that flattened the century-old building. All of the bodies were recovered from a milestone tavern a bar that was located on the ground floor of the three-story building that collapsed when a car flew into it during the tornado's Tuesday night. Initially, the rescue effort looked promising. Nine survivors, including four children, were pulled from the building within hours of the collapse. However, three bodies were found in the rubble of the building overnight. A fourth death was confirmed early Wednesday afternoon and the other four were found later in the day. And here is the spot where the Milestone Tavern once stood, and today it is now a memorial for the four women and four men who died in the collapse. The dead were identified as Larry Ventress Sr., 49, and Mary Ann Ventress, 50, the couple who owned the tavern. Wayne Ball, 63, his daughter Carol Schultes, 40, and his girlfriend Beverly Wood, 67, Helen Mankey, 81, Mike Miller, 18, and Jay Bizane, 47. These eight people who did exactly what they should have done in going to the basement in that tavern, and they still ended up dead. How very tragic. Rest in peace, and hopefully, nothing like this will happen to this wonderful town. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.